Hey, what's up guys? Today, we're back with another Cars 3 speculation video. Of course, this one is on the Cars 3 TV Spot preview released during the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards. If you haven't seen it yet, you can check it out in the description below. There is a link to the best quality version currently available. So it's pretty short, which is expected because it's only a TV spot, but it does reveal some interesting things about Radiator Springs and some of the townies like Mather and Fillmore. So let's jump right into it and break it down. Now, most of the scenes in this trailer are from the Next Generation trailer, so I won't be talking about those. If you want to hear me discuss that trailer, you can check out my breakdown of it in the description below. In this video, we'll just be going over the new scenes. So the first new thing is Brent Mustangberger saying it's Jackson Storm for the win. Of course, we then see Jackson win a couple races. We have that awesome beach scene again as well. This one actually is a bit longer than the one in the Next Generation trailer, so that's cool. That flashes to Fillmore saying it's futile to resist change, man. Now, this was actually very hard for me to hear, but thanks to a couple friends of mine, we were able to decipher it. So basically, Fillmore's line could be interpreted two different ways. Fillmore thinks McQueen should become like the next generation racers and change with them, or he thinks McQueen should retire because McQueen can't go up against the new advanced high-tech racers. McQueen shouldn't resist that change and just leave the racing career altogether. So let me know in the comments section below what interpretation you think it actually is. I'm personally confused on which one it is, but I think Fillmore might be in favor of McQueen retiring. I could be entirely wrong though. Of course, we see Sarge next to Fillmore, who looks pretty disgusted and upset at what Fillmore said. However, that's typical between them. They're good friends, but they disagree quite a bit, like we saw in Cars 1 and a little bit in Cars 2 as well. So I'm glad that they're carrying that over to Cars 3 because it's their natural personalities and interactions. So moving on, of course, Flo is to the left and Red is to the right as well. We can just barely see the side of Red, but he is there, of course, to the left of Fillmore, but to our right. Now, before we move on to the next scene, I just want to address any confusion. I myself was a little confused as to where they were all parked because the layout of Radiator Springs looked a little weird. I thought originally they were in front of Flo's, but they're actually to the right of Flo's Cafe facing Lizzie's shop. Everything lines up and makes sense that way. You can see the Cozy Cone Motel to the left of Lizzie's Curio Shop. Then we have some new music come on that they haven't used in a trailer before. I couldn't find it on YouTube, but I think it actually is a song that has been made before and it's not actually made exclusively for the Cars 3 movie. I could be wrong again. I feel like it sounds familiar, but I just didn't really find anything on YouTube. I tried to look it up, but I'm not sure. So let me know in the comment section below if you have any you know, info on that. I actually really like the song, by the way. Then we see Mather's junkyard at night. Mather is in his little shed with a bunch of lights, kind of like Christmas lights, but I doubt it's Christmas. And he's actually FaceTiming McQueen, who's inside Mac, probably traveling to race or, you know, back to Radiator Springs. So Mather says, you know what I do? McQueen replies, what? In a nice, calm voice. And Mather takes a couple seconds to say, I don't know, I got nothing. So that's the typical Mater everyone knows and loves, trying to be supportive, but he doesn't really know how to help McQueen besides just being there as his friend. This is probably after McQueen's crash and he doesn't know how to proceed with his racing career, so he's consulting Mater about it. So I'm glad we finally got to see that aspect of their friendship in the trailer, and really this is the first time we've seen Mater in a trailer. We did have that blurry glimpse of him in the last trailer, and yes, he was in the Detroit Auto Show sneak peek, and the only reason I'm saying that is because there are plenty of versions of it on YouTube now, so I'm pretty sure that Disney and Pixar don't really care if it's up anymore, so I'm just going to say that and leave it at that. So inside Mac, McQueen actually has a picture of himself, Mater with a tire on his head, and a group shot of himself, Mater, Sally, Luigi, Guido, 
and possibly Sergeant Fillmore as well. It's pretty blurry, but so is the entire trailer because of course, no one had a direct upload. And what I mean by that is no one had it on their computer perfectly ready to upload to YouTube. It was always taken from somewhere. Like I said earlier, it originally aired on TV and most YouTubers who have it on their channels took it from TV. Now some YouTubers were able to get a pretty good version of it, so I'm very thankful for that. But that is the reason for the blurriness, so I do apologize, but there's nothing I can do about it. It's either use this kind of rather poor quality version or not even review the trailer at all. But Let's get back to the video, and that's pretty much it actually for the new scenes in this trailer. I thought it was awesome, I'm so happy we finally got a look in the Radiator Springs along with the townies. Maybe we can get a scene with Sally soon. So, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of the trailer in the comments section below. Thanks again for tuning in, I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye now!